you. I do that night after night. I look at every chart, every chart every night, and I know which stock is moving and which stock is not. And those stocks that are moving, I will choose and pick it up and put it into my newsletter. I'll send it over to you. So if you want to know which stocks can go up tomorrow, when to take a profit when you're right, when to cut loss when you're wrong. If you like to subscribe to my newsletter, then click the link below. Let us write this book together. In 2015, uh, I wrote a book called Chart Pattern Analysis. And this book is about how a super trader was able to use 11,000 to make 42 million in just 23 months trading stocks. And his name is Dan Zenga. If you want to know how he did it, please look for this book. This is in the popular bookstore up to today. Already four years, it is the best seller. I'm also an author of The Power of Japanese Candlestick Book. Now, I'm very proud of this book because number one, it is endorsed by my good friend, Steve Nissan. Steve Nissan is actually the grandfather of Japanese candlesticks in the whole world. He's the one who introduced Japanese candlesticks to the world. Every day when you look at the screen the, and the charts, you are looking at Japanese candlesticks. But do you know how it functions? Do you know what are the uses of Japanese candlesticks? Do you know how to construct Japanese candlesticks? And interpret Japanese candlesticks? If you don't, this is the perfect book for you. By myself and endorsed by Grand Daddy of Japanese Candlesticks. Hello everyone, welcome back to Fat Tom's official page Facebook Live and I, Nurul Hidayah, will be the host for today. Before we start, can you hear me? If you can, please type in the comment section. Yes, we can hear you like that. Can you? Can you hear me? Muhammad Asmal, loud and clear. Mary Jasmine, yes, we can. Okay, thank you for the comment. For our FB Live today, we will be discussing on market outlook and stocks to watch featuring Mr. Afnan. I am very sorry to inform that Mr. Fred Tam is unable to be one of the speakers today as he has to rest. All right, for those who don't know and who are new to our live, I will introduce our speaker for today, who is Mr. Afnan, our senior analyst. He has been trading since his university days with years of trading experience. If you have any question regarding on the topic, please type them out at the comment section and Mr. Afnan will address them throughout the live session. Okay, let's not waste any more time. I know you are excited and can't wait to gain new information. Without further ado, let's start our market outlook and stocks to watch today. Let's start right away, Mr. Afnan. Okay, that's, that's, can everyone hear me? All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our market outlook and stocks to watch. How is everyone doing? All right, please like and share this video so that your, fr your, uh, your friends can join and benefit from this talk as well. So uh, if you can do that, thank you so much. And just curious for active traders, how was your trading um, yesterday? Or how do you feel about the market yesterday um, compared to Monday? So are you feeling steady, cautious, 
maybe a little bit scared, shaky, right? So do type in the comment section and let us know. And as for me, um, I would say, well, I will share with you guys uh, my view uh, later. All right. So um, let's see how is everyone doing with yesterday's market. Okay, but uh, what I'm guessing is some of you might be saying yesterday was definitely better than Monday. Monday was uh, a bit scary to uh, some of you because of the news, because of the Fed. And tomorrow and yesterday there was a um, just a slight rebound, right? Two days, not really going uh, much anywhere. But okay, more detail later. And yes, I know you guys love the Q and A session. So uh, anything technical analysis related, okay, you can ask. I'll answer them um, at the end of the session. Okay, so. Akmal says, yesterday market seems to rebound. Hmm. Um, I do agree, but just, just a slight rebound, yeah? Okay, well, at least it's better than uh, Monday. All right. Okay, I think that's enough uh, ice breaking. So let's begin the talk now, shall we? So for the disclaimer, as usual, this talk is for information and educational purposes only and should not be construed as a solicitation to buy or sell any of the stocks mentioned herein. The speakers or staff may have positions in some of these stocks. Okay, so the talk content, uh, this will be the last talk uh, until our uh, FIFO intake, right? So it's very simple. It's just market outlook, stocks to watch, and then Q&A. All right, so looking at uh, the closing as of 12.30 p.m. today, we have 216 gainers, 494 losers. KLCI is currently down by 5.98 points, okay, at uh, 1,455.12. Turnover is still less than a billion. Okay, so that's on the market, uh, market breadth. So now let's take a look at the market uh, more in depth. We'll begin with the KLCI. So let's take a look. So following from uh, the previous talk, so the KLCI, some time ago, it was, it was forming a triangle, all right? It was making lower highs, all right? But with higher lows until at one point, it broke the trend line here, all right? And also there was a down gap and a down gap is actually a sign of weakness, right? The low that was broken here uh, on the 14th of uh, um, August is around 1,468. Okay. Other than that, if we look at the indicator, like the moving average, it is slightly bearish. All right. Although the index is below the moving average, there was a gap down the moving average is still quite flat, all right? So right now, while it is weak and if it cannot fill the gap here, all right, if it continues to go down, the next lower support is the old low support around 1,408, okay? Over here, this area. So other than that, if we look at the indicators like the fast turtle, which is a short term, um, uh, short-term indicator. Previously, there was, was a break of support indicated by the red arrow here, all right, indicating weakness. Other than that, stochastic was also uh, showing a bearish crossover, all right, that's our more weakness. But as of yesterday, like what someone said just now, there was a slight rebound, all right. The KLCI, according to the stochastic, also showed a bit of a rebound just a bit okay but other than that it's all more to uh weakness okay including the, the macd over here so the klci uh in general is still sideways to down all right uh so that that means klci linked stocks are also weak but then again, like what Mr. Fred always says, not everyone is in the KLCI linked stocks because 
uh, in the KLCI, it only consists of 30 stocks. So a lot of us are actually inside the mid and small cap uh, stocks. So we have to look at the index for this. So if you take a look at uh, this index, from this point onward, at this level, okay, the index started to go down, right? Tremendously until it hit a low around 16,250, okay, over here. At one point, there was a slight rebound, okay? Strong enough to break above this downtrend line. So uh, although it broke above the trend line, instead of going up, it went sideways, all right? And before that also, it had created and not get over here, a sign of strength. So the important thing here is that uh, for the up gap area here, okay, to stay intact, this is actually an important support, all right? So uh, for the FBMM SEAP, at the moment, we can see it as, uh, you know, possibly uh, continuing sideways movement, as you can see. So we have a channel here, so if it keeps on uh, moving sideways, all right, we just expect it to do so until there is a breakout of the resistance over here or a breakdown of the support over here. All right. So as chartists, we have to learn how to uh, you know, react. We react when something happens. So that's why the knowledge uh, in technical analysis, how to read, how to interpret and react is very important. So other than this, all right, uh, index is still below the 50 uh, EMA. And also RSI recently has been floating around 50, which is uh, neutral. For your information, RSI is a momentum oscillator that works uh, better in a sideways market, just like this one over here. So you see during this period, it has been floating around 50, all right? Neutral or sideways. Okay, so uh, we just uh, monitor, see what happens next, or whether the index will break out or break down. Okay, so what this index is telling us is that mid and small cap in general, okay, not all of them, they are uh, moving sideways, no momentum. So in this kind of market, where the sideways or uh, downtrend market, are there no stocks to trade at all? Okay, when we say the market is down, the market sideways, uh, you know, people generally usually means that in general, not all stocks. Okay, so even in such a market, if there can be one or two, maybe five, five stocks that are uptrending, that's good enough. Okay, so. Imagine you have 10,000 or 20,000 capital. Don't tell me you're going to buy 30 stocks and hold them, right? So you will diversify uh, your selection up to maybe five different stocks, three, okay, depending on yourselves. So with this kind of uh, understanding, does that mean you need to have 100 stocks uptrending or just a few? Okay, so if, if you understand my point here, you just need a few stocks that are, that are Uptrending. So the key thing here is buy stocks that are uptrending and they tend to move like staircase pattern over here. So why is it staircase? So staircase is, you see, it's when a stock is uptrending, it doesn't go all the way up like this, all right? They will go zigzag like this, all right? Or some, they move quite weird. Okay, they can move like that as well. Okay, it looks like a staircase. So whenever you see prices going up, it's making higher highs and higher lows. That is an uptrend stock. This is the stock uh, which you should go for. Okay. So um, now you know that you have to find uptrending stocks. Of course, you still have to choose your technique, your trading style. So in this kind of market recently, Prices have been jumping up and down very erratically. Uh, it can go up a lot within a day, only to come back down within uh, the same day before the market closes, all right? So if you're an active trader who likes to make quick profit from this kind of market, okay, which uh, what Mr. Fred calls it, kangaroo market, first, you have to understand 
what is a kangaroo market or stock or what's a kangaroo behavior so we take a look at this we have a picture of a kangaroo here i'll show you why so here's uh the beginning of the day this is the opening when we say a stock or a market is behaving like kangaroo it means uh prices like to jump up and before it closes at 5 p.m it comes back down so if you're to um, buy in the beginning of the day and then you hold until the end of the day okay you make no money because uh it goes back to the opening price or your entry price but if you know that the stocks are behaving like this what you can do is actually find stocks that are behaving like this on that day when it is going up you buy all right and when it goes to a certain level before it comes back down that's when you sell okay so if you do this you will make money all right rather than waiting for it to come back down to this level only to make no money all right so this you have to be quick buy when it's going up sell before it comes back down so this behavior here is what we call a uh, kangaroo stock or kangaroo market all right so the name of this technique is called uh, f1 fifo technique or kangaroo technique now let me show you uh, again uh, uh what i mean by in the market where we say it's sideways or down trending okay there are still stocks that are going up if you have followed us from uh, the previous uh, talk i'm sure you know this uh, table okay so here are some examples of our uh, kangaroo hop counters so the highlight here is you see the performance of the new issue stocks versus the indices okay in this case the uh, fbmm scap and the klci if we compare it from uh, 1st of august uh, closing until yesterday's closing all right uh for the fbmm scap it's only a change of negative 1.72 percent for the klci it's down by 2.27 percent so over a period of a uh, one month uh, plus it's just a small change here but during the same period there are uh, there are still stocks that are going up such as lgms here you see LGMS, if you compare it, uh, compare the price from 1st of August until now, it's up by 38%, uh, okay? Based on yesterday's closing. ACMO, okay, 10%. SFP Tech, the strongest one, 85%. Okay, Sengail or Sengil, uh took a bit of a hit. Previously, it was higher. Now it's uh, slightly lower, but still positive, 4.65%, okay? Synergen 47%. All right, you can uh, see the following, uh, see how they are performing compared to the indices. So, how many uh, stocks are there? One, two, three, okay, 12. 12 stocks. Then again, it's not necessary for you to buy all 12. You may choose one, two, or three, okay, depending on yourself. So, mindset is very important. You have to try, uh, you have to know how to look for this kind of stock in this kind of market okay and then uh, just to highlight on a few things on the performance as of today uh by uh as of 12 30 pm for the first one lgms um so yesterday the market had a bit of a rebound today still resting but lgms is uh based on stochastic it is reaching oversold at more as well for SFP Tech, it's um, performing the best, actually. Uh, it has a bullish flag breakout for now. If it wants to break out higher, the next breakout is anything above 1.69. All right. For uh, Sengail, yes, like mentioned previously, it took a bit of a hit. Okay, so it took a bit of a hit, um, but Stochastic is also reaching oversold. Synergen, Stochastic also reaching oversold, um, Infotech as well, UMC as well, and from what I saw, price may or may not close with a bullish engulfing, okay? So we can monitor this, uh, but volume is still quite low at the moment. 
and price is resting at the 20 EMA support. Okay, so we can just uh, monitor this a bit. Uh, Orgabio, stochastic reaching oversold. Okay, and for Orgabio, price is potentially retesting uh, a double bottom resistant turn support around 32 and a half cent. As for Coraza, uh, stochastic is also reaching oversold. Okay, so uh, that's how they are performing as of now. You can uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're going to look at uh, some new kangaroo stock examples for better understanding. So first one we have Syscorp. Um, Syscorp today, um, it, uh, today or yesterday, it uh, staged a bullish flag breakout. So if you see here, there's a bullish flag with a uh, higher volume. Okay. So on the daily chart, this is a daily chart. Okay. You get a breakout confirmed by volume. So what you would do as, uh, as a kangaroo trader or scalper, you would buy here and sell here a profit of three cents within two hours or 4.14%. Then again, how can one be so specific? This is just a daily chart. Well, that's when you have to use the intraday chart. Take a look at this on the five minutes chart. So if you see a breakout or signal on the daily chart, okay, as a scalper, you would want your entry and exit to be even sharper. Okay, because a few cents movement can determine whether you're making profit or loss or break even. All right, so after the daily chart is okay, you look at the intraday chart, you look for another signal, okay, which is another chart pattern breakout. So in this case, it coincided with a bullish pattern breakout. So your entry point is actually the timing is on the intraday chart. In this case, 72 and a half cents, and then you take a profit. Okay, uh, when it's rallied uh, some point above, okay, maybe you can just aim for a certain percentage, 3% or at least 3%. <clears throat> okay, so that's how you could get 3 cents of profit or 4.14% in two hours. The next one here is Chin Hin. Okay, Chin Hin uh, was very interesting yesterday because after consolidating for a while, you can see here, this is a small symmetrical triangle. Yesterday, there was heavy uh, trading activity. If you look at the volume, high volume after a period of consolidation. So there was a breakout yesterday. One would buy at two ringgit and 63 cents. Okay. And take profit at two ringgit and 79 cents. All right. Which is a profit of 16 cents or 6.08% in five hours. Then again, how to make your entry and exit sharper, look at the intraday chart. All right. So if you uh, haven't realized a lot of this is relying on chart patterns analysis. Okay. The continuation pattern. So you look for one on the daily chart. Then you also look for another continuation chart pattern on the intraday chart. Okay. So if you have the two signals coinciding with each other, okay. That's your timing to enter and also to exit. Okay. So you enter here. Okay. For exiting is actually at a target or when you see momentum is, uh, you know, started to weaken on the intraday chart. So if you see here, all right, one could enter in the morning as it rallies and rallies, uh, maybe around 1230. You see how there, uh, was a long upper shadow, all right? showing that momentum is weakening. So you could, uh, what you can do is actually just take your profit to secure your existing gains. So if you do that, that's how you could get 16 cents in profit or 6.08% in five hours. Okay. So, uh, kangaroo technique, that's how it works in general. You need to look at two time frame. You need to, uh, master your chart patterns. Okay. Select the right counters. Okay. Time your entry and exit correctly. 
All right, if you notice, the profits I've shown you guys are all above 3%. And here's the good thing. To be profitable for uh, scalping um, the market, okay, 3% is actually enough. Not just, uh, it's not just that it is enough, but 3% based on our experience, okay, is uh, well balanced between profitability and uh, how easily it can be achieved. Okay, so if you aim higher, all right, your gains will be higher, but there's less chance for that target to be achieved. So 3% is well balanced. As for capital, how much will you need? All right, this is just an estimation, a suggestion. Uh, if you do your math with a capital of 10,000 ringgit, if you can put that 10,000 ringgit inside a single stock and you aim to make 3% from that stock, your profit per day is 300 ringgit one day 300 ringgit i would say that's good so if you do it consistently for one month or 20 trading days that is equivalent to 6000 ringgit given that you do it consistently all right but of course this is just an estimation in reality if you use this and this maybe you will uh plus minus around this goal here right but yes, it's good to have a goal, right? And you stick to your plan, like making 3% every day. So there's a saying, a uh, play of word from an apple a day keeps the doctor away. This is by Mr. Fratam, 3% a day can keep the doctors away, right? Or you can keep your electric bills at, at bay, right? <laughs> so yes, 3% is just enough. Okay, so if you know your target, you won't have so much headache like whenever you scalp for that day, how much you should make. Okay, with 6%, 7%, 10%, you might be putting too much stress on yourself. All right, so that's why yeah, you have to have a goal. And our goal, what we would say is 3% is enough. Although sometimes you can get higher, 5%, 6%, or 7%, all right? But this is just a benchmark for you. Okay, so um, that's how the kangaroo technique works. That's how you scalp the market and make profits daily. So our upcoming FIFO class is on uh, the 24th of September. It's a Saturday, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. It's just three hours. Then as I've mentioned last time, there will be 10 preparation videos given to you. You have to watch it and digest it. Please don't wait until last minute uh, to watch this video because during the three hours class, uh, live class, we will straight away get to the technique, okay? The kangaroo technique. We won't be repeating the basic of technical analysis. What is breakup? What is resistance and so on, right? That one, you should learn from the 10 preparation videos. Okay, so we will teach you in this uh, class how to be a successful and also independent sculptor. So these are the results from our some of our FIFO students. This one, he made 7.14% in 45 minutes from Syscorp, okay? So uh, all of our students trade here. We don't give signals, right? We don't have signals. All these are taught to them. They make their decisions independently. Okay. So this is what they shared to us. Uh, they sent us their uh, portfolio. They made this much. And if you see, they're using around 10,000 uh, ringgit capital. And then as for this lady trader, our old student, she made 8.8%. Uh, written or 5,300 ringgit in two hours from LGMS. Also, everything they decide on your own entry price and exit price. This one also, okay, slightly below 3%, but it is still profit 2.7% in 30 minutes. And this is based on, okay, this student saw a rounding bottom breakout. That's how he or she decided that, oh, there's a signal here. It's a uh, time to enter. Okay, then another one, lady trader here made 1,710 ringgit or 6.66% 6 
within a day. So this was when ACMA was still very new. She just used simple chart pattern uh, technique, okay? And to follow our rules, she was able to make this profit within a day. Another one here, 4.3% in one hour. And this is on UMC. Okay, so if you see here, it's all quick profit. It's all based on chart pattern analysis. Okay, of course, other techniques you have to apply. But thing is, the thing here is, you aim for 3% at least. Okay, with a capital of around 10,000 ringgit. Okay, you should achieve uh, satisfactory gains. Another one here, 6.9%, 700 ringgit in just one hour. And this is from SFP Tech. All right, this is old chart. SFP Tech today is uh, quite good. So I think later we can take a look at it. Okay, and last one here, another student made 4.2% in 30 minutes. Simple chart pattern analysis, there's a breakout, look at the volume, and then you just time it right on the intraday chart. Okay, so these are the testimonials from our students. Uh, and then just like I mentioned, they also went through all this preparation videos, all right? So here's a sneak peek of what we have in the 10 preparation videos. So first we have uh, chart construction, how to read charts, all right? And then we have basic concepts of trend followed by trend lines, okay? And then next we have uh, also support and resistance, okay? And we also have Fibonacci, right? And then that's all where the chart patterns come in, just the ones that you need for uh, to use this technique, okay? So we make it simple for you. Then also uh, setting stop loss, um, the turtle indicator, how to use it, all right? and our own indicator, the fast turtle indicator, how to use it. Okay, all will be taught in this uh, 10 preparation videos. Okay, so what else you will uh, learn and get from this FIFO course is the daily routine as a FIFO trader. All right, so one of the biggest challenge for every trader when they want to scalp is that in the market, there are over 1,000 counters. So how do you know which ones are going to be active for that day? So the daily routine as a FIFO trader, what to do before the market opens or what to do after the market opens will be taught here, okay? Also with our systematic and rule-based entry and exit strategy. So technical analysis, to some point, it is subjective, in fact, Trading itself is uh, something subjective, but for our technique of uh, scalping, it is rule-based, meaning it's less subjective and more objective. And then from this too, you will learn, you will uh, finally know how to pick FIFO stocks. So once you know how to pick FIFO stocks, of course, how to enter, what technique to use, okay? This is the rule-based uh, entry and exit strategy our F1 FIFO breakout trading method. And also this one, no one can run away, money management. All right, so these are the things that you will learn in the FIFO course. Other benefits that you will get, okay, is exclusive access to our Telegram group called F1 FIFO group. So in this group, you will no longer trade alone and in isolation because in this group, you will get like-minded FIFO traders and our technical analysts are also inside for networking and discussion. So don't be afraid if you think that uh, you can't be good after attending the course. Of course, it takes practice. You need to discuss and communicate with our past students as well to get the hang of it. So yes, in that group, uh, we also do live FIFO discussion. No signals, we do not give signals. It's just discussion like, um, hey, I think this stock uh, is going to be active today. Like um, SFP Tech today, they were alerted. Okay, one of them uh, alert, uh, gave an alert in the group. Then we all looked at it. So from the discussion alone, it already gives uh, us trading ideas and trading alert. 
and then trading decisions, entry price, exit price, we do it ourselves. Okay, so um, one thing to uh, let you guys know that aside from the course, we also have this uh, Fred Times Daily Newsletter. All right, so these are the prices. Uh, the prices shown are exclusive of 6% SSD. This is where we uh, send to you daily report every morning on the KLSE stock. Okay, uh, it's a uh, it's commentary. Uh, we give outlook on uh, how's the market is likely to perform in the future based on the previous close. Okay, so uh, this one is uh, the stocks inside the view are more longer term in nature. All right, so this is like think of it of having extra eyes in the market. Because to monitor the market alone is tough. So if you need just a slightly uh a slightly more advantage or a bit more for help, okay, the Fred Thumbs daily newsletter can help you with that. Extra eyes. So if you want to get this or the course, you can hurry up and register now. These are the numbers. And since the course uh, is gonna start soon, this Saturday. Anyone who signs up within the next 48 hours, they will get a free t-shirt here. All right, so you just contact our customer support and let us know your size. Okay, all good. So now uh, we're gonna do slightly longer Q&A session. Okay, so it's open to the floor. Let me see what questions uh, you guys have uh, put. All right. Um, from Nur Iman, hi Afnan, can comment on Synergen and Infotech. Okay, sure, just let me pull out the chart for a while. Synergen and Infotech, okay. <clears throat> okay, I hope you can see my screen. Okay, we start off with this stock, Synergen. Okay, let's see. Let me update this a bit. All right, so turtle support now is at 85, yeah? Uh, not 82 and a half, it's at 85. So uh, all-time high resistance is currently at 1.07, okay? Based on the EMAs, okay, uh, especially the 50 EMA, it is still technically bullish, but if we look from um, this period onward, um, if I draw the line here, okay. Okay, if I look at it from this way, you can also uh, look at it as moving, currently moving sideways. But since it is above the 50 EMA, it has a slight bullish bias. All right, so for me, Synergen um, still needs to rest before it makes another rally, okay? If the rally can sustain. Other than that, if you look at the stochastic, okay? Uh, stochastic is showing oversold at the moment, okay? Uh, it may rebound. If it does, then it may be another short rebound like this. Or if it breaks above this resistance, then it can stand a good chance to make a new rally, all right? These are just my opinion, okay? Technical view. So other than this, uh, right, Infotech. Other than stocks, you guys can also ask technical analysis related like uh, what is chart pattern, what is this pattern, right? I'm here to answer them for you guys. Okay, so for Infotech, let me clear this a bit. Okay, Infotech, the new all time, okay, all time high resistance is currently at 47 cents. Okay, so at the moment, it is uh, near the turtle support at 39 and a half cents. Okay, so um, just like this one, uh, just like the previous stock is also, I would say, resting, okay? Um, resting, but just still slightly bullish. If you look at other factors like 
uh, trend line, right? So it's still above the trend line, okay? It still has a chance to uh, bounce up. Plus, stochastic is also reaching the oversold area. It's just that there is still no bullish crossover from the stochastic, okay? So if it does turn up, if it wants to continue to climb further, it has to break out above the all-time high resistance of 47 cents. Okay, so uh, right now I can see a lot of stocks are uh, resting, okay? including IPO stocks, but I would say they are technically more bullish than most of the other stocks. Okay, so Synergy is done. Um, from Fatima Muhammad, SFP Tech seems to be rebound today. Let's take a look. <clears throat> All right, SFP Tech. So as I mentioned just now, when I pull out the table, uh, yes, SFP Tech is actually uh, the best among all the IPO stocks listed. Okay, so if you can see, even when there uh, were pullbacks, it didn't pull back much. It just pulled back really shallow and then it bounced back up. All right. Uh, so the view on this is, let's see, currently making higher highs, higher low, all right? You see, this high is, is higher than this high and it's also higher than this high, even the low. So higher high, higher low, that is the definition of an uptrend. So yesterday and Monday, yes, there was a pullback. Okay, but until today, if you know your chart patterns uh, analysis, you would know that this is a bullish flag breakout. Okay, in fact, uh, some of our FIFO students, they sculpt this stock today, all right? Uh, based on what? Bullish flag breakout on a daily chart, and then they time their entry and exit, okay, based on the intraday chart. Okay, so other than that, price is moving well above the 20 EMA. Momentum is fairly decent, okay, upward. It's also above the 50 EMA, okay, technically bullish. Um, current all-time high resistance is at 1.69, all right? 1.69. So while there is a bullish flag breakout here, if it wants to break out further, it has to break out above this level, 1.69. Turtle support is currently at one ringgit and 20 cents. Okay, so what else can we do here? Hmm. If you know chart pattern analysis, you will know that with um, bullish flag, you can actually project a target, okay? For example, using the, the rally here, that same distance you projected okay, at the breakout point, okay, which is somewhere around uh, this level, two ringgit and two cents. Okay, this is chart pattern analysis technique. Okay, and also according to bullish flag breakout, it implies that uh momentum is likely to rally after the bulls have taken a short rest, okay? So SFP Tech, we can uh, keep a close eye on this. From Muhammad Akmal, um, is it good to buy on dip for now? Can share your view on LGMS. Let's take a look. Okay, let me clear out the charts a bit. All right, um, clearing this. All right, we start from here. Um, current all time high resistance is at 1.45. Okay, recently there has been a pullback, still no sign of a breakout turtle support it's at one ringgit and five cents okay to say buy on dip this is just uh my opinion right not a solicitation to buy or sell um while it is still resting at the 20 ema support and it's above the 50 ema 
uh, there is still no sign of a rebound like a reversal Japanese candlestick pattern. There's no sign of another bullish flag breakout. And if we look closer, okay, volume is um, volume is still low as you can see, All right? So during the pullback, volume is dry. Right now it's green, but if volume is still dry. I I would say that I would still expect some a bit more of a pullback, okay? Until something changes, like uh, the patterns showing up and also volume increasing, okay? But overall, technically, the direction is still up as long as major supports are not broken. All right, so just give it uh, some time to rest. If you can draw trend lines, okay, it's still above the trend line. And yeah, we'll see uh, how, how it does in the near future. Okay, next um, from Isaac. Uh, Samudin, Syscorp, hope for Syscorp fly. Let's see how Syscorp's doing. Oh yeah, Syscorp, um, it was featured as a uh, stock to monitor in today's, uh, in today's report, because yesterday there was a bullish flag breakout. And if you notice, there's also high volume during this rally. So there's heavy trading activity going on. Okay, so yesterday there was a bullish flag breakout. Right now, price, okay, the candle being formed now is a spinning top and indecision candle. But keep in mind that it is not yet 5 p.m., right? There's still chance for uh, the candle to change its shape. But, all right, but let's see what's the outlook for this based on technical analysis. If we look here, price tested the 20 EMA support and then bounce back up. It's also above the 50 EMA. Based on the moving averages, it is technically bullish. So after pulling back from this high of um, 87 and a half cents, okay, price pulled back here until yesterday, it staged a bullish flag breakout, okay? And volume was also higher than the previous day. So based on bullish flag, if the rally can sustain, okay, uh, it's telling us that price are likely to resume upward, okay? So if it does, uh, the next resistance to be tested can be 87 and a half cents. If this is broken, it may go and test uh, the next higher resistances. Okay, as for support, the support for today, based on the turtle indicator is at 65 cents all right so um although overall is uh bullish um keep in mind that uptrending stocks there will be zigzags in between maybe today or tomorrow but if you were to follow trends okay follow the major trend so technically speaking syscop to me is uh still on the bullish side Okay, uh, next is from Alex Chan. You didn't, you didn't take into account the cut loss days. Okay, I'm not sure which one you mean uh, this, this is. Or you can type again in the comment. Uh, I'll take a look at it later. What is a hit of poor what? Okay, for poor what? Haven't seen the, the chart for this for a long time. Okay. Technically speaking, okay. One thing about technical analysis is that um, technical analysis works best when uh, the instrument is liquid. Okay. If it's erratic or illiquid like this, it uh, doesn't work so well. All right. So uh, it's really hard to give an opinion on this, but if you still want it, based on indicators, all right, there is some slight bullish momentum as it is above the moving averages. Okay, that's all I can say. But again, remember, it's an elliptic or erratic stock, okay, for technical analysis. Okay, next, Tricia Richard Linsang, is it? Uh, is it uh, 1,500 ringgit? 
for the course, okay? Uh, the first is excluding the 6% uh, SST, uh, but keep in mind also that um, you're also paying for uh, the benefits and also you get a free time preparation videos, okay? So your lessons is actually not really three hours. If you include the time preparation videos, uh, it would be uh, a few more hours extra. Okay, you can get more information uh, from our uh, customer support. Alex Chan, isn't it a double top for Synergen? Okay, let's see. Yes, uh, people have been mentioning this as well. If you say it's a double top, okay, let me just clear the chart. We'll pull out lane one. All right. <clears throat> okay, so one can see it as moving sideways like this. Okay. Or one can also look at it as a potential double top. <clears throat> okay. So some calls it M top because it looks like an M, right? So over here, if it breaks below the support uh, here, uh, below 82 and a half cents, you can call it a double top. Yes. Just a, a small one. But if it continues to consolidate, then it's uh, in a ranging market. <clears throat> All right, next one is um, from Muhammad Farahan. KYM, please. KYM. <clears throat> All right, for uh, KYM. Okay, let's, let me just scale out a bit to see if there's any info that I can use. Okay, I guess I'll just use the data up until here. Okay, let's do an analysis on this. Okay, you can draw your trend lines like this. Okay, uh, based on the recent movement, okay, we can draw more trend lines. Okay. So at the moment, based on our indicators, it is also it's actually sideways, okay, just like what the trend line is suggesting. All right. So uh, if based on the trend line, that's to break out above here, okay, in order, order to gain some uh, momentum, or better, if it if it can break out above the current turtle resistance at seventy four cents, okay, over here, all right. If it does so, then it can uh, have a good chance to uh, be bullish again. So until that happens, you can just uh, monitor, see whether it breaks out or it breaks down. Okay, so yes, sideways, expect it to continue to move sideways until there's a new breakout or breakdown. <clears throat> Next one from uh, Fion or Gabio. So this one I mentioned just now um, is potentially retesting a double bottom resistance turn support. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let me clear this. So Orgabio, if based on chart pattern analysis previously, it hit uh, the target based on the double bottom. Okay. So then it came back down and then currently it's resting at the 20 uh, EMA, right? So it's resting here today. It may or may not continue to go down lower tomorrow. But if it does, this is an important uh, support level, right? Let me just mark it for you. It's at 332 and a half cents. Why this level? Because this is a double bottom. Okay, a bullish reversal chart pattern. This was a resistance. Once broken, it becomes a support. And not to mention, uh, not to forget also, on this day, 8th of September, there was an up gap above the resistance. So that's, that is a break away gap. All right, so this area is a good support area. So just uh, make sure that this support remains intact. If it remains intact, then it can stand a chance to do a rebound. Until then, uh, just let it rest or pull back. 
Okay. Next, um, Nur Iman FFB. Okay, for FFB, let's take a look and IPO stock as well. Okay, let me just <clears throat> make it neat. All right. So currently it's quite sideways, as you can see how the stock, how price is moving flat, okay, horizontally. Um, even based on the indicators, like moving averages, it, they are flat as well. Okay, and if you look at our indicator, the total indicator, current resistance is here, current support is here. <clears throat> okay, but if you look at old low support, then it's um here at 158. Okay, and then based on trend line, if you were to draw from here, okay both the upper and lower trend line they are converging so it is uh technically sideways so let's see whether it breaks out or uh break down only then it can have a new trend okay next one from lydia po chin hin unable to break resistance <clears throat> Okay, we take a look at Chin Hin. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so Chin Hin yesterday it actually uh other than registering a new all-time high, yesterday was the first time it closed at a new all-time high of uh 2.78 which is technically a sign of strength okay so for trend followers they would anticipate price to overall uh go upward all right but of course you have to expect some uh zigzag in between so as of today um okay candle is still red but the volume is low so there's not really uh much of trading going on for today for Jin Hin. So it can possibly be taking a rest, okay? In terms of resistance, okay? If we're talking about previous all-time high resistance, it would be this. Okay, um, hold on. <clears throat> okay, this is after uh, price adjustment. This will be the previous all-time high resistance. So we can see that uh, Chin Hin is struggling to break above uh, this level. If it can do so firmly, then it can get uh, a good chance to uh, resume rallying, okay? Especially after it has rested, consolidated over here. Okay, so I would say sideways with a bullish bias. Next one from um, Ruby Tay. SNS. <clears throat> okay. So SNS. All right. All time high. New one is currently at. Okay, this is supposed to be thirty two. Okay, so here is the new all-time high. So from this point onward, okay, price has been pulling back, okay, and has been resting. So there was short-term momentum from here, okay, but right now it's just taking a rest. If based on our turtle indicator, support is currently at 25 ringgit and 25 cents. Uh, sorry 25 and a half cents okay so because this is new there's nothing much that can be uh you know analyzed on the daily chart so we can try going to the four hourly four hour chart <clears throat> okay so based on this yes it's still i would say it is still resting okay so 
we just monitor it and see whether there's a new breakout or breakdown in any form, whether it's all higher breakout or chart pattern breakout. Next one from uh, Miza Saadun. Okay, at me. All right. So we can take a look at <clears throat> take a look from here. Okay, uh, just like one of the stocks just now, the candles for this stock is quite erratic and illiquid. So if you apply technical analysis, it may not be that useful. Okay, uh, but still, if you insist that you want the technical view on this, based on trend line itself, okay, right now there's um, some bullish momentum, okay. Uh, it's also above the moving averages and it has broken out of the turtle resistance previously. Okay, so there, there's some uh, momentum, upward momentum going on. <clears throat> Again, keep in mind that it's erratic and quite illiquid. Okay, so be careful. Next one from Wan Rushdi. How about J GHL Sis? <clears throat> okay, we take a look at this. Then we're going to wrap this up soon with the last uh, request next. All right, so as for this, at first glance, uh, I can already tell you that it is uh, trending downward. It is actually bearish, very bearish. Based on the indicators itself, you see all the red arrows? It's our indicator showing that it is technically bearish. But not just that, if you were to draw trend lines also, it is, uh, you know, moving all the way down. Okay, so if you zoom out also, okay, the previous low would be here, which is it's still not there yet. Okay, let's zoom in closer and see if we can find anything else. Okay, it's quite a sharp drop including uh, even yesterday. Today, there's not much trading going on. Volume is also low, okay? But then again, while it is cheap, okay, I always remember this, uh, someone told me, cheap can get cheaper, all right? So when, if it's down trending, uh, to me, if you're a trend follower, you wouldn't want to touch it, all right? So this stock technically uh, bearish. Next, the last request for today from media, e metal. <clears throat> okay, for e metal, um, it is also a bit erratic, okay. Uh, but from this point onward, the candle started to form nicely, all right? During this period in the past, it wasn't nice, okay? But from this point onward, with some volume coming in, it started to form nicely. So if we were to draw trend lines, okay? There's high, 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 low. So trend-wise, it is uh, bullish, all right? And other than that, price is above both moving averages. Okay, that's not a good sign. Okay, so if trend is bullish, we just uh, expect price to continue in that direction until something makes it go reverse. For E-Metal, next breakout level will be anything above 74 cents. Okay, based on our turtle indicator, support is at 61 and a half cents. Okay. So you see here, just want to share with you guys a bit, uh, technical analysis tips. If you see this kind of mo uh, motion, uh, movement, you know, it's like a zigzag up, down, up, right? It's a, it's a very good point for you to draw Fibonacci projection, right? For targeting. So you just click uh, the first point, you just choose the previous low. 
Next one, you choose the next uh, high. The third point, you choose, okay, the next higher low, okay, the point where price starts to turn upward. Okay, and then if you look at the red lines here, those are the golden ratios or important ratios that you can uh, use for targeting if you wish. For example, over here, 69 and a half cents, 81 and a half cents, one ringgit and one cents, all right? So uh, now you can try using Fibonacci projection for your analysis and trading. This is just a small tip for you guys. <clears throat> okay, one last request, all right? Just came in. Then we'll wrap it up. KAB. This is from Tan Lian Hui. Okay. So KAB. This is an uh, old drawing, but this is still relevant for today. You see there's a down gap here. Okay, down gap resistance around 93 to one and six cents. It has not been filled ever since. So um okay, that's a sign of weakness. But over here there was a trend line breakout. Okay, let me clear this one, draw a new one. <clears throat> okay, over here, there was a trend line breakout. If we were to zoom here. <clears throat> okay. Um, the candles are, to me, it's a bit, a bit illiquid, a bit blockish, right? You can see there are so many flat movements, right? It's very blockish. So technical analysis at this point uh, won't work so well, okay? But since it's above the moving averages, it's, I would say it's just sideways with a slight bullish bias. Other than that, I can't really comment uh, much. <clears throat> okay, so that's all for today. Thank you guys for joining. So this is the last stop until uh, our FIFO class starts. So then again, if you sign up within the next 48 hours, you'll get your free t-shirt. Eat, sleep, trade, holiday. Okay, so um, I'm Afnan. If you're joining this Saturday's class, I'll see you in our class and we'll make money together. Bye.